Another piece of this micro cluster puzzle, of course, we're talking about schools. And according to the state website, schools in this yellow zone will continue to remain open. But students and staff will be required to have weekly testing for in-person settings. Two on your side's Dave McKinley has more details on how this process will be monitored and the involvement by both the county and the state. Good evening, Dave. Hello there, Mary Alice. Well, as you just stated, schools in a yellow zone can remain open for in-person learning, but only for as long as they, were, they are able to conduct, rather, COVID-19 testing on 20% of those in-person learners and staff within those schools. Now, the problem here is they don't have the tests. They don't have enough personnel to conduct them. And according to the head of the Erie County School Superintendents Association, whose district happens to be in a yellow zone, the county health department has told the schools they're on their own in this. If there is one consistency, and has been one consistency throughout the pandemic, it's regard to state policies, it's been the inconsistency and reasons why some things may be open and others may not. And he notes correctly that when it comes to COVID-19 outbreaks, almost none of them have been associated with schools. It seems inconsistent that we're closing the places that seem to be the safest places. Um, I guess that's an inconsistently an inconsistency that some of us have noticed too. As every study we've seen shows that the one place COVID is not a problem being spread is a school. And did you as county officials in your talks with the state ever try to impress upon state officials that we don't see the spread in schools. So why are we having to test in areas where we don't have a problem, especially when you can't help them? They don't need to start testing people today. They're going to have to start a, do a test within a week. So hopefully within the next couple of days, we'll get information that we can provide to the school districts and how they can meet that standard on the weekly testing. And one of the changes that uh, Poland cars had mentioned in particular coming down from the state may be a relaxation of the rules involving school nurses and then giving them the ability to conduct these COVID-19 tests, presuming the districts can get their hands on them because as it currently stands, schools have no legal authority to do such testing on their property. In Buffalo, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News. Well,